हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू सेशन टू ऑन एस एफ डी एंड बी एम डी इट्स प्रॉब्लम एंड सोल्यूशन टेक्निक्स फ्रॉम फ्रॉम प्रैक्टिस पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू लेट्स मूव क्विकली थ्रू वन मोर एग्जाम्पल कंसिडर बीम ए बी सी वेर ए बी इज ओवर हैंगिंग पोर्शन बी एंड सी आर सपोर्टेड एंड इट कैरीज यू डी एल ऑफ टेन के एन पर मीटर अ कपल ऑफ एटी के एन मीटर एंड uniformly varying load is acting on the beam okay as we seen the first part is to find out reactions so draw fbd that means i am showing reactions at b and c as there is no horizontal load there is no horizontal reaction at all and even though it is present we are not caring about horizontal because horizontal is nothing but axial effect and that axial effect we are not considering in our shear force and bending moment diagram so i am showing these two reactions rb and rc and we are applying first equilibrium condition of moment we will take moment at point b so that reaction at c can be found immediately so writing that equation moment at b so there is a udl so rectangular load so udl is 10 distance is 3 so intense into into distance is total udl it will act at midpoint because it is a rectangular load and i am taking moment at point b so this horizontal distance we require and that is 1.5 observe that this moment is creating anti clockwise moment so sign is taken positive second is couple couple is 80 so it is taken as it is positive because of anti clockwise nature third is triangular load or uniformly varying load we know that for triangular load total triangular load is taken as area of the triangular portion that is 1/2 into intensity into distance so this is triangular load which will act at centroid of triangle so center of triangle is here from 90 degree it is 1/3 distance so 1/3 of 6 means this becomes 2 so distance becomes 2 observe that triangular load is creating clockwise moment about point b so sign is taken negative and last one is rc into distance this distance 6 so rc into 6 is the moment about point b it is anti clockwise so taken positive solving that equation we will get reaction at c equal to plus 27.2 answer is positive means assumed arrow initially is correct next is summation fy equal to 0 so applying proper equations we are getting reaction at b is equal to positive 146.8 again positive means assume the sense of rb initially upward it is correct step number 2 is shear force calculations and for shear force calculations we have three points a b and c at each point we have decided already that two values we are going to calculate one is just left of each point and just right of each point so total six values of shear force we supposed to calculate again same sign convention we are using sections left upward is positive and we are considering always left fbd for our shear force calculation so let us move one by one the section slider we are now consider it is like this <coughs> a left first value <coughs> left fbd we have considered there is empty space so v a left is zero then a right just right of a again from left point to right point there is again no point load is coming so original value is taken and newcomer is zero so final answer is zero next is b point b left from a left to b left observe there is newcomer of udl intensity is 10 distance is 3 so total udl is 10 into 3 acting downward means negative so this value original is taken and newcomer is minus 10 into 3 so answer is minus 30 next is b right just right of b so from b left to b right observe that this vertical reaction comes into picture so this value is taken as it is and newcomer from b left to b right is vertical reaction upward so it is positive so final answer is 116.8 and last point is c left we are having value of b right here 
from B right to C left, observe there is UVL acting downward. So we have to take negative and UVL means uniformly varying load area will be one half into intensity into base. So one half into 48 into six is the load acting downward. So sign taken is negative. So original value is taken here and newcomer is UVL. So final answer is 27.2. C left is over. Last point is C right. From C left to C right, this is the newcomer. So we have taken the value as it is and newcomer is this vertical reaction upward. Upward is positive. So this is taken. Observe that final answer is zero. We are getting our first check. We are starting with zero and ending with zero. So our first check is over. Now let us plot shear force diagram as we plot for earlier example baseline is taken. First value is a left. It is zero. Second value is a right. It is again zero. So a left and right both values are zero here. <coughs> Next point is B. So this value we are going to plot B left. It is minus 30. So plot it below baseline joining this point and this point. Observe that there is a rectangular load that means UDL. Whenever UDL is acting on beam portion or rectangular is acting on beam portion, SF diagram is inclined line sloping down because UDL is acting downward. Next point is VB but right portion. At VB right, we have sudden rise that is 116.8. So this value is plotted. So this value is already we are having. This is new point. So join by vertical line. <coughs> Next point is C left this one. So we are having B right. From B right, we will plot C left. So this is our C left value. Now we have to join these two points B right and C left. Question is how? That's why again we will go to our fundamental concept. Whenever UVL is acting on beam portion, UVL is inclined line, SFD will be parabolic curve of second degree. Only the point of investigation is whether parabolic curve concavity up or down. So remind that table and logic. This UVL is downward and decreasing and we know that for downward UVL decreasing the concavity is on upper side. So this is the concavity curve having concavity at upper side parabolic curve second degree concavity up. This point is now plotted. Now last point is this point V C right. So this is V C right and this value we are joining by vertical line. Once we plot our shear force diagram as I said, we have to check our SFD nature. Observe that whenever UDL is acting, we say it is sloping line. Yes, it is available sloping down. Whenever UVL is acting, there is a second degree parabolic curve in SFD. And for decreasing downward UVL, the concavity is up. Next point to check it. Whenever point load is acting, there is sudden rise or fall. For upward point load, observe that there is sudden rise. Again, for upward point load, there is a sudden rise. Right? So these points we have to going to consider to check our diagram of shear force diagram. Now, one point again we got here where the shear force crosses the baseline, which is called point of zero shear. So our logic is again continued. Take one section. So this is a section line I have shown and draw freeboard diagram of either left FBD or right FBD. Here I have two choices for this section line. Either I have to consider right FBD or I have to consider left FBD to draw the section line. I think right side is simpler. So we have taken X from right. This is the X we have taken. So we have plot the section like this. So this is our section line and X distance is or X section is taken from right. Now we will write bending moment equation for that right FBD. So for this right FBD, we are interested to write bending moment equation. But first of all, I have to find this height of triangle at this particular section because I have to consider only right FBD. So by using similar triangle, I am getting that distance equal to 8 times X. So intensity of triangle at the section line is 8 times X. Now consider this particular portion and let us write the moment equation. So Taking moment of all forces about the section line, force is 
and distance is x as it is bending moment you should use sagging and hogging so observe that this moment is like this so it is called as out or sagging so 27.2 into x is the positive moment of this particular force now moment of triangular load this is the triangular load triangular load is acting downward at one third from 90 degree angle so from this end it will be x by 3 this distance is x by 3 right one third and triangular load is one half into intensity into base so one half into intensity is eight times x and base is x it is acting at x by 3 distance so this is the moment of the triangular load about the section line observe that triangular load is acting downward which will create moment like this so according to our basic fundamental of bending moment sign convention it is hogging or you can say in moment so in moments are taken negative so sign is minus so this way we are completing our bending moment equation about that section line here now as we know when shear force is zero means what dm by dx is equal to zero equating this we are getting the distance x at which the shear force is zero so we are getting the distance 2.61 meter from c and i am showing that distance here so this is distance we are getting this way we are completing our shear force diagram moving to next now